from Isaiah McKenzie's wide receiver, very fast, I believe. Um, so they sent this crazy letter. Um, Dear Isaiah, on August 25th, 2021, at approximately 2.15, while walking through the indoor field house and into the training room, you fail to wear a mask. Then at approximately 4.35 p.m. on August 25th, for several minutes, unbelievable, you again failed to wear a mask in the meeting area for the weight room while gathered near other players after the offensive meeting. Your refusal to wear a mask occurred after you were informed that it was required for unvaccinated players as set forth in your 2021 club discipline schedule and as reiterated by signage throughout the club facility, stating that unvaccinated players are subject to fines and discipline for failing to wear a mask. So, yeah, you received written warning for not wearing a mask. So he doesn't. the guy doesn't want to wear a mask. So he says, you got me, NFL, you win. Cole Beasley responded. Again, that's the original guy to get suspended. Don't worry, they got me too. But I was wearing a mask when I was in close contact with a fully vax trainer who tested positive and still got sent home. So what's the point of masks anyways? Meanwhile, I'm here still testing negative and can't come back. Make it make sense. Uh, Gary, what's your initial reaction to this? I saw you tweeting about Cole Beasley, so that's why I wanted to ask you about it. How many players do you think on, on the Bills are unvaccinated and aren't going to get thrown under the bus for this? I guess we're going to find out over the course of the season because some of these teams are going to show you they care more about these vax rules than they do winning football games. Cole Beasley being in trouble and being sent home for five days is not helping the Bills at all. That's not going to help them win games. And this is turning into Nazi Germany. And quite literally, <laughs> like, like it's not going to be – like, the premise is the same. It's not going to be the exact same. One's a mass genocide. The other is just mass protocol, right? They're, they're trying to make sure that everybody's following these rules. And just because personally you want to do something different, the Buffalo Bills can make your life a living hell until you finally do grasp that you need to get vaccinated. And that's the whole point. They're trying to make everyone's life miserable. You can't go to restaurants, you can't go here. And you have a bunch of allies, like former allies telling on each other, oh, well, he went down this hallway at, at 642 <laughs> without a mask on. And now everybody's paranoid that someone's gonna snitch on them to the point where it's gonna be so hectic that people are going to give in. You're gonna start seeing players give in, get vaccinated and say, let me just get this over with and get out of the crosshairs. But hopefully Cole Beasley and other NFL players don't get in. They, you know, they just don't. I just hope they don't fold. 